Hello everyone. In this demonstration, I'll guide you on bypassing secure boot and TPM checks during the Windows 11 installation. Additionally, I'll showcase the automatic creation of an offline user during the setup using a Windows 11 USB boot drive. To guarantee a successful installation, please avoid skipping any part of the video and continue watching until the end. In this video, we will break down the entire process into three major steps. In the first step, we will access the Microsoft website to download the latest version update of Windows 11. After accessing the Windows 11 download page, ensure that the latest version of Windows 11 is 23H2. Next, navigate to the ISO download page where we will proceed by selecting the Windows 11 Multi-Edition ISO, which has a total size of approximately 6.5 GB. Click on Download now to initiate the download. Once the ISO image is downloaded, the subsequent step involves converting the ISO into a bootable USB drive. To simplify this process, we'll utilize a bootable USB tool called Rufus. Using this tool, we can choose to bypass secure boot and TPM checks, as well as create local user accounts from a USB image. Begin by accessing your preferred search engine and look for Rufus. Download the software from the portal. In my demonstration, I am using a 64-bit Windows, so I will select the X64 application. After downloading, open the Rufus software, connect your USB drive to your computer, and the drive will automatically appear on the device list. In the boot selection, choose the Windows 11 ISO file you downloaded in the first step. For Windows 11, you can keep the partition scheme as GPD. Additionally, you can modify the USB drive's volume label at this point. Before initiating the process, note that the new Rufus version supports bypassing TPM and secure boot checks for Windows 11 allowing installation on all computers without additional tricks, such as modifying the Windows registry during installation. In Windows 11, creating an online Microsoft user for login is mandatory. Unlike Windows 10, you cannot create an offline user at the beginning of the Windows 11 setup process. With the new Rufus tool, you can create the offline user directly from the USB image even choosing your preferred username. In the last step, we will install Windows 11 from the bootable USB drive. Verify that offline users have been created and ensure that Windows 11 has successfully bypassed the secure boot and TPM checks. I will demonstrate a quick Windows 11 installation using an Intel Xeon CPU. The computer is configured without secure boot and is not designed to pass TPM checks in a typical installation. To proceed, I'll need to adjust a registry key to bypass TPM checks during the Windows 11 installation. However, for this demonstration, the initial setup is successfully bypass DPM failure detection and proceed with the Windows final installation. This will allow us to proceed with selecting the Windows 11 version and initiating the installation on this computer. To expedite the installation, Windows 11 has completed the initial setup and rebooted. I have opted for a swift initial setup. I will be selecting most default settings for Windows configurations.
During the final process, I will expedite the installation by selecting No to all prompts for a quicker setup. We notice that the online user creation step is no longer necessary during the final process. After the final Windows 11 setup, the Win11 user is automatically logged in. After completing the Windows setup, you'll observe the ability to log in to Windows 11 using the Win11 user account. Additionally, you can access computer management to reset the blank password to any desired password. To confirm the user 111 as the offline account, navigate to the system settings where it will display the local account with administrator rights. Before concluding this video, I would like to share one last bonus Windows tweak. By changing the Windows taskbar back to the left, a preference familiar to many users from previous Windows settings. Stay tuned for more tech freebies in the upcoming videos. If you found this helpful, please show your support by clicking the like button and subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching.